So now we're going to take a look at some of the unique Buzz capabilities from a student perspective. I'm going to log in as student one, who's Jenica Roberts. She's currently enrolled in three different courses. I have my common to-do list and activity stream. As I log into any one course, it's going to give me information about the teachers, about how much time's left in the course, my progress, any agenda items for today. If I have projects in this course, they're going to be brought front and center. They'll have their own start and end dates, which is pretty unique inside LMS offerings. I also will see how my to-do list is stacking up and what I need to do over the next 7 to 10 days. As I start working my way down through the course, a couple of unique features um, that Buzz offers is something called student choice. Uh, most systems, when you come in, have a common collection of learning activities that they present to the users. So, so in this case, this is one of those common pieces of instruction. And as the student, I can mark it as complete to inform the teacher that I've, I'm ready to have a discussion with this. That mark as complete is a unique feature with Inside Buzz. When I move on to the next part of the course, it actually takes me to these choice activities. At this point in time, the teacher has previously vetted five different activities and as a learner, I'm supposed to choose two of them. And so it might be that I want to preview the movie clip because that's a modality of instruction that I enjoy. And so what I can do then is choose that and it will automatically modify my course to the activities that I've chosen. So if I go back, you can see that now in my course, I've chosen the video. I have one more activity to choose. I can go back into that choice activity and I could choose my next one and it would be added to the library. And so this idea of choice and voice inside the course allows me to be more career and college ready by allowing the student to use their agency to really navigate through the learning activities in a very unique way. So this is um, something quite specific to Buzz and how it's set up. Another unique feature is the concept of testing out of content. Um, a lot of systems will have the idea that I'm going to release content through an assessment. Well, we believe that it's better for the student to understand the totality of the course by looking at the table of contents and then removing things that they don't need to see because they're able to test out of them. And so we do things a little bit in reverse order. You can see in this case, assignment one, two, and three are attached to outcomes one, two, and three. So when I come in and I take this test, based upon what I can do, so in this case, I'm gonna answer some questions. The teacher has set this quiz up so that there has to be three questions per each learning outcome, and that I have to answer 100% of them in order to pass out. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and put these in the right order. This is an example of an assessment. I can go ahead and, and watch the rendering of the model, move it around, take a look at it. And then I can go ahead and answer the questions. Yep, they're amazing. Which one of these things are not part of the heart? I could leave myself a toggle to make sure I come back and test this if I'm guessing. I could also leave myself a note. I could also come up and use the highlighter to highlight passages inside the assessment or actually use the uh, answer eliminator to remove obviously wrong choices. So all of these features are nice things that I can put together in order to really do my best on the quiz. In the second section, I'm gonna go ahead and miss a couple of these because I'm going to fail standard two and then standard three, I'm gonna get them correct. And so now as this formative assessment kicks in, I'm gonna go ahead and submit my answers. I do have one answer I could review if I wanted to but I'm gonna go ahead and just submit them. And as I come in, you're gonna see a note down on the bottom that says, congratulations, you've, you've tested out of part of the course based upon your formative assessment. So now when I come back and take a look at my table of contents, um, it no longer has assignment one or assignment three because I've tested out of that content. And again, a lot of our content partners really like this for credit recovery. It allows a teacher who is not familiar with the student to simply put them in the course, have the student take the necessary pretests, and therefore they're only learning what they need to as far as credit recovery is concerned. We do also do some other things around pacing. You can control the flow very easily by simply jumping in. It says, oops, you've got to go back and pace this correctly. So I've got to get this activity done. It's a foundational activity. I've got to get it done before I can move on to the next activity. 
And once I complete that, then I can move forward. Now, completion is an interesting, unique capability. What does complete mean? Complete could mean a submission. Complete could mean mark is complete. Complete could mean any score, or complete could mean a passing score. And so again, we don't just say, hey, it's complete, like lots of other LMSs. We give the author the ability to choose what they actually want the event to be in order to move forward. So again, it's a, it's a good way to handle things. Um, PBL, I'll show you a course here in PBL in a minute that we handle differently. Um, it The gradebook looks different. So there's some interesting things there I'll show in a second. Badging. Um, badging. Some LMSs have badging. Others do not. Um, badging is used a lot more in elementary through five in order to incent students to move forward. Lots of different ways to carry the school brand into the course so they earn badges and motivate. There's lots of other activities that you can do, discussion boards, journals, wikis, um, flip grids, all sorts of stuff inside the environment. So we'll actually see what a submission looks like. Um, if I click into a grading activity, your content will go up above and you just simply scroll into it like a modern, uh, a modern page. So in this case, I can um, add my comments here. Um, I could also record my comments if I wanted to, either video or audio. I'm going to record something here. We give them up to three minutes to record. I'm going to go ahead and insert that. That'll come back and in just a second as it gets processed. Um, we also have the ability to draw if we want to. So I can click on the draw and I can put in comments inside here, show my work, different things that I need to do in here. We're always auto saving things for the student inside there so their work is never lost. Um, smiley faces, your typical rich text editing. We also have the ability to um, do equations. So I could say the square root of 36 divided by three plus three and kick that in and save that as well. And if I needed to edit it, I just click and say, well, I, I'm going to simplify this. This is really just six. And I could save that. And so there's some really nice things we can do from that standpoint. So lots of ways for students to add their submission to the work. They also can simply click on and choose a file. I have my G Suite turned on so I could create a file or, or choose an already existing document. And then when I'm ready to go, I simply submit the work. So that's kind of how the process works from a student submission standpoint. As they come back to the main course, um, I could come up here and I could say, hey, I want to check my grades. When I come into the grade page, I can see how far I'm progressing, what my current score is. If I have any assignments that have yet to be graded, they would show up with a document down on the bottom. I also have the ability to look at anything I've selected from a choice folder. And whether it's gradable or not, the teacher would score those. I have the ability to also track how much time I've spent in the course. All of this detail is available for parents and observers as well. So they know exactly what's going on inside the course. So that's kind of the walkthrough on what the student sees and some unique functionality with inside a course.